What's up studs and chats? You might want to stop rolling your fat doobies around because today we're apparently hearing about a new Call of Duty game. That's right, another year, another Call of Duty game. But here's the sus part, right? Are we really gonna be getting the next Treyarch game this year? We're gonna be talking about this because apparently there has been a lot of leaks and rumors going around and today apparently we also ended up getting some official information. Oh shit! Oh, shit. I know, that's kinda crazy and some of you are like, yo man, pump the brakes. We're gonna get right into the story, drop a thumbs up. Let's go for maybe two likes on the video and apparently the situation is kinda wild. It is wilder than Johnny Sins movies. Before we get into the next Black Ops game, this also happened and this is kinda like the entirety of the Call of Duty and Activision situation with uh, Microsoft and Xbox, Bruh. right? I know you have heard that billion times, but we have an update. Some people are saying that this is Capri Cap, and I want you with your cap meters at hand. We're gonna get into that upcoming Treyarch game. Hell yeah, we're gonna get into that. But Bloomberg is reporting that both Google and Nvidia also oppose Microsoft acquisition of Activision. And they're sending their concerns to the FTC and the company's joint Sony uh, group uh, corporation. <laughs> and they say that in raising issues with the transaction, which the FTC sued to block in December. And yup, if you guys remember back in back in December, and for the longest amount of time, for a year, I mean, damn man, at this point, just cancel the deal. <laughs> Just cancel Bruh. the deal entirely oh God. or accept the deal. Either accept the deal or cancel the deal. One in the chat if you agree, uh, 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 two in the chat if you disagree, I want to see where you went. Because man, like, we have been talking for years for how long we're gonna talk about this. I just want to hear about the brand new games. Like the video if you agree, but apparently the situation here is that Google and Nvidia provided information that backs your key after she contention that Microsoft could gain an unfair advantage. That's basically oh, shit. Oh, where <laughs> where we at. Some of you will be like, nah man, that's actually cab. They, they are saying that Microsoft could gain an unfair advantage. Okay, subscription and also mobile gaming. They're also taking into account that bro, like it's not just about like the, the taking advantage of the cloud, but it's also about the subscription and the mobile gaming. Mobile gaming is the most important according to them. Bruh. And the situation here is that they went ahead and they said that who asked not to be identified according to people who asked not to be identified I identified because the process is confidential in its remarks to the FTC Nvidia stress the need for equal and open access to the game titles but didn't directly oppose the acquisition Bruh. that's some of the biggest bra moment ever because when you actually look at what the experts are saying, they're saying that <laughs> Nvidia did not oppose it. And according to one of the people, they say it didn't directly oppose the acquisition. I don't know what's actually happening, y'all. Like, we gotta sometimes pump the brakes. So, apparently, Charlie until saying that Nvidia is opposing the deal. But Nvidia themselves is saying that, bro, at least one guy in this situation. Bruh. I I know, but one guy is one guy. Come on, man. Like, it's one soul. One soul is claiming that that didn't happen. It is all cap. It's capity cap. It didn't happen. Never said that. Never happening. <laughs> Never gonna happen. I'm not sure what's real and what's not. But ladies and gentlemen, this is what happened today. Apparently, hit marker came out. There, uh, I, it seems like that there are a Twitter account that talks about gaming jobs, hiring people, getting the devs there, uh, getting the devs to stop doing helicopters with their willies, and make content, okay? Make content! It seems like that's what this Twitter account is all about. I could be wrong, though. I could be wrong. wrong. But they say that, are you an expert in all things zombies? Treyarch have increased their hiring for game dev and game design positions on the Call of Duty Zombies team. That is actually very good, right? Because I'm a massive zombies guy, okay? I love zombies. I used to play zombies 24-7 back in my days. Yeah, back in my days, I used to play that 24-7. But surely with Call of Duty Black Ops 4, it, Black Ops 4, I mean, looking back at it, it was actually, like, pretty good, though, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. It was pretty good. Bruh. But... Back then, we didn't really appreciate it because, I mean, how could we? It was blue screens 24-7 and it was lacking some content as well. And not initially, though. Initially, it was pretty good, but then we had blue screens and it was not as good as Black Ops 3. They tried to change a lot of things. It didn't work well with the fan base. So a lot of people were like, bruh, I'm gonna move on. But looking back, it was not that bad because after that, what did we get? We, we ended up getting that 
Van Garbage Zombies. Some of the worst zombies experience of all time. Let's smash the like button if you agree. But now the news is actually kind of good. Treyarch is increasing hiring for Call of Duty Zombies. And a lot of people, I mean, shout out to the homie for adding me in this situation. Oh shit! Oh, you shit. can see a lot of people adding their friends, adding their... <laughs> Everybody's adding everyone around and that's really a good sign because apparently this what happened. Now they are looking for, number one, lead zombie designer they're a game designer and they're also looking for senior level designer this was posted three years ago and they're also looking for senior game designer all of them needs to have five plus years of experience now the situation here is that they are opening up in canada that is truly bizarre because this is all i could come up with right now and it's probably not gonna make sense to you maybe it's gonna make if it makes sense to you definitely smash the like button because we're talking about Activision, multi-billion dollar company. And you're telling me they are looking to open in Canada to save money? I think Bruh. that's what they're doing because we're talking about Canada guys like I'm in Canada and let me tell you one thing about Canadians okay we do be using maple dollar and when you compare maple dollar versus US dollars there's a massive difference okay we love earning in uh, US dollars but we hate uh, spending it in maple dollars okay we or we hate spending it in US dollars we love earning in US dollars okay that's uh, basically Bruh. where we at ladies <laughs> that's basically where we at want to help craft the the shape of future Call of Duty progression, social. They are looking for a senior system designer alongside zombie game designers as well. So this is a really good sign. It seems like that, yup, the next game is in full production right now. And for the longest amount of time, the rumors have been saying that we're not gonna be getting the next Treyarch game. This year, we're gonna be getting in 2024. And this rumor has come up from Jason Schreier. But you gotta understand this. Activision officially said that they're gonna be having the next uh, most robust Call of Duty line of operations today, the next full premium release in Blockbuster annual series, and even more engaging free-to-play experiences across platforms. <laughs> Now, there were also rumors that did say that there will be like a free-to-play zombies game. So, could this be that? Could this be them just like expanding their buttholes? Could this be like zombies experience for maybe Warzone 2? I, I really Bruh. hope not, man. That would actually be really devastating. Stop the cap. That, indeed, that would stupid. be stupid. Stupid as well if they do that. But the situation here is that Activision officially did confirm that that's going to happen. But, however, Jason Schreier says that the next game by Treyarch is coming out in 2024. This year, it will be Modern Warfare 2 Premium Paid Expansion, and it's gonna be made by Sledgehammer My Ball. So, <laughs> that's basically what we're gonna get, it seems like. Now, this is still a rumor. We might still be getting this Call of Duty this year, but it seems like that it's just gonna be a $70 DLC for Modern Warfare 2, and rumors are saying that it's once again gonna be remaster maps come on man like even if you pay 70 dollars you're still gonna be getting remaster maps and even if you don't pay you're still getting remaster maps it's like I, I don't understand but ladies and gentlemen we also ended up getting some leaked images for the next Treyarch game that's correct click on this video on the screen or click the video on the left and this man claims that he's in the year 2027 he released some footage it's very shocking click on this video it's on my second channel and i will see you right there